Black Tree TV. I'm Alex Hudgens, live at the 20th Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. We're at the famous Shrine Auditorium. As you can see, the crowd's excited. We're going to catch up with all of your favorite stars. Stay tuned. Nice to meet you. Okay, Game of Thrones being honored tonight. What is it like working with an incredible ensemble? It's incredible. Everyone is so fantastic and so lovely. They're just such a nice group of people and so down to earth and not to mention incredibly talented. So it's so exciting for me to, cut, to go um, and work around these people. I learn so much every day on set. So it's wonderful. So really quickly, what can we expect for your character coming up? Well, okay, Miss Sunday, we've seen her grow into her role, basically, as Daenerys's translator, handmaiden, friend. You know, we get to learn a little bit about her and her past and see her human side, as opposed to just her dutiful, subservient role, you know, as, you know, on the job, Miss Sunday. So. Well, thank you. so great to meet you. SAG Awards, how does it feel? Be here with your peers. Honoring your peers. It feels great. You know, this is like uh, the award uh, that that really means a lot because, like you said, your peers are the ones who are recognizing you. So it's it's great to be here, and it's it's fun to see all of this hoopla. You know, favorites of the year. What have been yours? Uh, I, I love Twelve Years a Slave. Uh, I thought American Hustle was really strong. Uh, Her was very interesting. There's a lot of good movies this year. And your own show. What can we expect next? Absolutely. Well. We, we can see what happens. I, I can't tease anything. That's going to be good. 12 Years a Slave and Prisoners. You've been in all kinds of good stuff this year. Tell us a little bit about how it feels to be part of this cast that's been nominated as far as 12 Years a Slave for so many awards this season. Uh, I guess just like fortunate to get to be a part of the group and try to help tell the story. And, you know, for me, just getting to work with those actors is probably the best part, you know, and now it's kind of just like icing on the cake. What's it like working with Steve McQueen? I loved Steve. I, I mean, it was a tough subject matter. You know, the days were long and hot and intense, but uh, he's a lovely guy and he's a champion for actors. And um, I love the film he made, so I'm really proud to be a part of it. Oh, one of our favorite funny ladies, first of all. Let's get her shot, get some good B-roll. How does it feel to be at the SAG Awards tonight? Tell us. Here's what feels great. I just saw freaking Liza Minnelli. So as a gay man, I'm very, very excited. I don't even know how to follow. I'm here with my much younger boyfriend, and he's like, um, isn't that your friend Liza? I'm like, yes, it's my friend Liza. So that's what's great about the show, is you don't know who's going to show up. But I love that they honor the legends, Morgan Freeman, Rita Marino, De Niro. I, I'm all about the legends. Those kids don't have my respect yet. They have to earn it. OK, one of my favorite characters from Breaking Bad, I need to know, is he still sitting in that room? No, nah, man, I, he would have got out, man. He would have called his boy, come and get me back to Detroit. Let's go, you know. <laughs> now, your entire ensemble, amazing. That's why you received all these nominations. What is it like working with that type of cast? Oh, man, it just helps me step my game up. I mean, I learned so much from Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, everybody, Bob Odenkirk. It's just phenomenal. I can't believe I fell into something. It's almost like hitting the lottery, you know. Now, I want to know, Breaking Bad's got some crazy fans, myself included. <laughs> what is the craziest thing that a fan has, like, walked up to you and said or done? Well, most of them, it's crazy. I've seen a guy on Twitter have me on a T-shirt. He said he ordered offline. I said, they got huge T-shirts out of here. They got free huge, everything. It's off the chain. I mean, it's amazing. Then you see the people in the hazmat suits. That, and they had a baby dressed up. And I mean, the baby went three months old, got all that dangerous play. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. All right, so what's next for you? Uh, right now I did a, a cameo on uh, Crazy One with Robin Williams, which was with the Victoria's Secret model, which was great. And then uh, I was on a Rebel Wilson show, Super Fun Night. I got a movie, they should be done cast by the end of February, called uh, Evil Nature. We look forward to it. Love you in Breaking Bad. Thank, Thank you. you. And that's it. The 20th Annual Screen Actors Guild Red Carpet Action has come to an end, but it was really, really hot. Tell us. Who stopped by to talk to Black Tree TV today? We got Oprah. Nice. That's all you really need to say. She's incredible. You know, she stopped, she talked to us. She 
barely answered any other questions, and I'm just kind of I'm shaking. I'm so excited. No, I loved her in Lee Daniels, the butler, so I'm glad she stopped by so we could give her some support, show her some love. Who else did you talk to? Um, one of my favorites tonight was Don Cheadle. He's incredible. He was so well-spoken, so kind. Loved him. Talked to the Game of Thrones cast. I'm a big-time nerd. Season 4 is coming out soon. I've read all the books. I've seen all the episodes. And That's I'm a hot super show. Super excited. Yeah. Talked to literally, I think they had 17 cast members, and we got almost all of them. So. No, no. It was a real hot night on the red carpet, but a few people sort of just flew by. What was up with that? No love for Black Tree? I'm going to plead the fifth. I'm not going to throw any shade. Well, I'm just going to say, if Oprah can stop by, if my man Don Cheeto, the hardest working man in show business who has not won an Oscar, can stop by, then you need to stop by. Put in the work. That's why we're here. It's fun. Now, when you're a young gun, when you're new to the game, work the line, let people know who you are, because you never know. Careers can be mighty, mighty short out here in Hollywood. Ooh. And we're an easy interview. Black Tree TV, we love all of you. I'm nice. You want to talk to me? I would love to talk to you. I always talk to you. But in the meantime, you know how we do at Black Tree TV. We got the hottest interviews. We got all the action right here from the 20th annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. So check us out. Watch the interviews. You know how we do. 247-365.